All right, this is about my dig tab, and I've been out here digging today. And so, uh, I actually came across my first silver. There it is in the bunch. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna pull it out right now and check it. Uh, uh, looks like it might be a Merc. So I got a Merc. So anyway, first silver for today. Got a bunch of weeds, but that's the first silver for today. And anyway, get back to you if you get anything else. That's number 21 for the year. Happy hunting. Well, all right, everyone. This is Bama Dig Tab back again. And went out for another hunt today and uh, show you what I came up with. First thing I want to show you is I came up with this key. I want to see if I can adjust things around so I can get some light in here on it so you can see this a little bit better. zoom in and clear out and you can see the information there on it and small key like a little padlock or something and here's this side of it and uh, that's uh, the key that I found. I always seem to find a key. One clad dime. Only one clad out of the whole bunch today. And uh, play money. A one mil Alabama tax token. And uh, a uh, Well, this is a Ford Thunderbird. It crashed. So anyway, my wife, she's been wanting me to get her something and a revolver. So I went out and found her a revolver today. And so when I brought it to her, well, she didn't appreciate it too much. She did laugh, though. Always good to get a laugh out of the wife every now and then. But anyway, that's the gun that I found. It's even got a pearl handle, and it is a revolver. I think at one time the, the chamber on that thing actually moved. The hammer's permanently pulled back. It's not in very good shape. I'll flip it over and show you the other side. So it is ugly on that side. But you can see where the hammer mechanism is and even the trigger there and another piece of it right there. So anyway, but I'll show you the pretty side first. And I found a nice little compact. It was heavy. I thought, oh my goodness, maybe there's some quarters or something in that. You know, my imagination kind of went crazy on me. Well, I did manage to get it open without breaking it. And uh, inside was nothing but old cold cream or something. But anyway, uh, Here's the information on it on the back. I'll zoom in here on this. So it says actually uh, something Dutante uh, Cream Rouge. And down at the bottom it says uh, something about Distributed Daggett and Ramsdale Incorporated, New York. So I'm going to have to look this up online. It's got a nice pretty flower on the front. It looks like it might have been hand painted or something. I don't know. But anyway, that is uh, the compact that I found. That's my clad dime again. I don't know what this thing is. So it is something big and round. came up like a dollar. So I dug it and uh, solid dollar but it's not a dollar as you can see and so I'm not really sure what that is maybe if somebody's out there's got any information on it they can tell me I found one piece of jewelry and of course came up like silver but ended up being junk although rather detailed junk it's actually pretty neat uh, for junk earring and it's a lock on it along with five keys but no uh, sterling mark or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's not sterling. So anyway, and a washer. Now from other stuff that I found, here is my wheat pennies, 1941, a 1942D, 1956D, a 1950D, 1946. Actually, I've got one, two, and three 46s. 
1952 D, uh, 1948, and one, two, three 1945s. Actually, four 1945s. So I found four 1945s, three 1946s, one 1944. Can you believe that? One 1944. And this one turns out to be a 1911D. And uh, hard to make the date out, but I think I managed to be successful in and, and, uh, figuring out that it was a 1911D. 1911. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm calling it 1911D. And this was a 1920 plane. So I ended up with 16 wheats. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I t did get silver today. Uh, slim pickings on my silver past few days, but as many wheat pennies as I got, I should have come up with more, but I only got one, but it is a Merc, 1942 Merc. The two's hard to see, but I put it under extra magnifying glass, and it was a 1942. So lots and lots of wheats, one Merc, which is a good day. Anytime you find silver is a good day, which makes me silver number 21 for the year. So I only need nine pieces to hit my 30 for the year mark by the end of March. That's my goal. So uh, if I find more than that, then hey, I'll take them. But anyway, wide scan picks. This is it. Lots of Wheaties, lots of Wheaties. One lonely Mercury dime, and then my other goodies that I got. So anyway, this is Bama Deep Tab. Uh, happy hunting, everyone, and may you have a great, great, great week metal detecting. God bless.